What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this uh, glitch, which involves interrupting the jumping animation and resetting it back a couple of frames, therefore causing an almost an infinite jump. So, anyway, first of all, what I would suggest doing is enabling custom button assignments. And where you, where you go in the PlayStation to do that is you want to go to settings, accessibility, down to button assignments, and you want to enable custom button assignments, and then go to customize button assignments and change triangle to R2 and square to L2. In order to perform this, you have to have an animation, something to interrupt the jumping animation, which uh, that something just so happens to be the prepare or the urinate animation. And you'll be using this animation right here to set back the jump animation to prolong it. Anyway, I'm going to show you the, basically what I want to make this guide for is the button layouts so you can see how I'm going to press things. At, uh, the rhythm to what I press. So you can do this with any kind of jump as long as you have the rhythm down. Hold it. Okay, hold on. So that's normal speed. Just walking speed. Hold it. And you got the double jump speed. And you just kind of get the rhythm down. Each each one of these have a, a slightly different rhythm, by the way. It's not always going to be the same. And then you have. I'm trying to get a normal jump. Yeah, the normal jump rhythm, which is a little the one I'm not used to. Obviously. Get him to run. Oh, he's having a hard time on this terrain, isn't he? Anyway, um, so yeah, I just want kind of want to use this for a uh, visual display of how to do your rhythm. So yeah, whenever you do this, jump, and then tap both square and triangle or L2 and R2 at the sa exact same time. And by doing this, it's just going to keep interrupting the jump animation and reset it back a few frames as long as you keep the, the perfect rhythm. This isn't frame perfect, in my opinion. This is actually rather easy once you put a little bit of time into it. But yeah. And before I end the video, I'll show you that you can... This is the... Uh, this is the time saver right here. This one's a little faster tempo. But once you get it down, it's pretty neat. You could use this to cross mountains. Anything. Treacherous terrain. Tar pits. camps just be sure not to go too high or you'll fall to your death yeah there you have it that's it that's called the P dash or the Norman Petus.